reference to this, and let's continue our discussion, Doctor, on this okay, second Okay, I would segment. like to pick up on the notion that it's structural. Mm -hmm. It is something that is just ingrained in the very fabric of society. Um, America is not divorced from inequalities. We can see it at other places throughout the world, but it's because of the uh, government system slash the politics mm -hmm. slash the laws that are there mm -hmm. slash the other institutions that make up society. And for the listening audience, since I am a sociologist, mm -hmm. I would like to try to convey, because we take it for granted in culture when you're born into mm -hmm. it, and you don't run into it, you're just born into mm -hmm. the major institutions that make up a society, mm -hmm. such as the family, such as economics, such as education, mm -hmm. such as religion, such as the government politics, such as the institution of medicine, the institution of science, the institution of laws, the institution in present day society mm -hmm. of mass media. Mm -hmm. This is a very profound um, type of an institution that really impacts us. Now, Dr. C. Wright Mills has a classic book that is entitled The Power Elite. Mm -hmm. And although it was written uh, over 100 years ago, the idea behind it, it gives us the secret or the information as to who really runs the society. And he talks about three components. And I'm bringing back up because we're talking about the politics, the economics of inequality. And in his central thesis of the power elite, he tells us that economics, the institution of economics, corporations, mm -hmm. is one of the parts of the components of the American capitalist society that's a part of the power elite. The second one is that of government slash politics. Mm -hmm. The third component is that of military. Mm -hmm. Now what I try to share in this theoretical framework that Mills talks about is what's going on within our society today. And we can see that the multi-billionaires, mm -hmm. and the, the multi-billionaires, he calls that the corporations. Mm -hmm. He says that that is a part of the power we lead. Now out of them, we have a person out of that that's a multi-billionaire that became the president. president. Mm -hmm. And he's you, then he hired for a number of his cabinet people were military people. Mm -hmm. So you see this whole how notion they work together. of how they work together, mm -hmm. network. Now they, lack, they don't like to use the word collusion, mm -hmm. but that's exactly what it is mm -hmm. in, in order to try to do certain things mm -hmm. in a way that Berger in his imitation of sociology would share with us mm -hmm. that there are some beneath the surface types of activities going on. Mm -hmm. There are layers of hidden types of things that happen that we on the surface of it don't see. Mm -hmm. And this is what Dr. C. Wright Mills is telling us in the power we lead, mm -hmm. that they are all in it together. But we don't feel that uh -huh. way about mm -hmm. it, but they are. Because we can't see it all we as can't a complete see whole. That's but right. when you break it down and look at the elements of it, it becomes apparent. Absolutely, uh -huh. absolutely. So this is the, the politics of economics capitalism that impacts the inequality of groups of people. And then when people cannot see it, they have a tendency to identify with someone who might be a model of wealth. A model of saying, Party. well, they are indeed the president now. And then out of a group of people that believe in that, there are some that will step out and do some very hateful, very terror mm -hmm. terroristic, very white supremacist types of actions toward other people. And we are seeing that right now in the mm -hmm. society in which we live in. It, and, and, it, and the person in that position mm -hmm. who, who, who's espousing it will say, well, oh no, I didn't mean for anyone to go and do that. The other side of it is that somebody out of a large group will think, well, that person has said, I think the same way. And that gives me the power mm -hmm. to go out and do something hateful um, towards someone else. And we can see that with the synagogue, with the, with the killings of people at the Walmart, where people just mm -hmm. out of nowhere decided to go do those things. Well, this whole system, yes. Doctor, well, how, how, how do you deal with that? Yeah. I mean, what are some of the solutions in terms of uh, the mass incarcerations, yeah. the uh, efforts to deny uh, not only Africans, but mm -hmm. various groups, uh, yeah. uh, what we might be might consider civil rights? I mean, wh mm -hmm. what do we see as a solution to that? Yeah, well, that's a very powerful question. And, 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 and we have to look at America 
we're, even within the founding fathers has given us something within the Constitution that will allow certain amendments to occur mm -hmm. that brought about change. And we can see the good of that. If you have anyone listening and say, well, where are you, what are you talking about? You know, you had an African-American president. You know, you see more people that are being successful. That is so true. Mm -hmm. And it's because of those laws. So those must be in place. When you look at higher education with diversity in higher education, mm -hmm. that has been very impactful. And we've seen our Supreme Court with Sandra Day O'Connor support mm -hmm. what four of her other Supreme Court colleagues did not reject want. They wanted I, to reject it. Right. So we can mm -hmm. see the impact of that in, um, impact in our society. A very cursory look at some things is that when women feel that they are in certain powerful positions and they might be a part of the dominant group, they have to realize it was out of the civil rights movement mm -hmm. that those diversification opportunities came there for them. Now, many of them will want to try to turn back some of the same policies, let's have to use the word of affirmative action, mm -hmm. that got them into the situation that they are in. Mm -hmm. But now they have daughters and granddaughters that have been born in a society.